Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and today will be the 2200 I believe kilometer review of the Emotion V11 and we are actually going to take it ap apart with Mietju. So, hello Master Adam and let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way Um, so yeah, I can see here about vehicle 2145 kilometers. So I really wanted to do a two and a half thousand kilometer review on the V11, but in the meantime this happened Yeah, I think the bearings are dead. So I will wait for probably a bit of a time for in motion to send new bearings for for this wheel. I am not very keen on riding the wheel with these sort of bearings. So yeah, let, let, let's get some tools and get to disassembly. Hello, master. Shut up. All right, so all the tools are ready. Start with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are definitely two pros, but Miyacho did already disassemble one wheel himself, so he knows two. two wheels. And then an uh, MSP. And I can also tell you about like all the things that happened. So during these <laughs> 2 .1 thousand kilometers, I I grew a bit tired of the V11 to be honest. Started to be very slow. We started to reach the limit of the wheel pretty quickly, and Mitchu nearly had a cut off cut off on the wheel. It's 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 a bigger battery than the S18. But still, it's just 80 cells, and the max power you can see on the Emotion app is around three and a half kilowatts. Three kilowatts? Yeah, above 30, it limits you a lot, man. Like, from zero to 20, there is a bit of acceleration, but after that... No. No, actually, <laughs> before there, there isn't any acceleration. I mean, it's not a fast wheel. It's, it's, it's a commuter. By the way, perfect, like, carpet for finding all the screws. Yeah, I started to be a bit scared of riding this wheel faster than 40 kilometers an hour because it just doesn't feel safe at these speeds. So we will take a peek inside and see like if it's dirty from the inside or whatnot. Mitchell, maybe maybe tell the viewers what you think of the V11. It's shit. Maybe you know elaborate a little. No, because it's you had it, we we exchanged it. Yeah. I think like. Of all the wheels that I was riding, yeah, I think it's better than M10 Free. Oh, it's actually better. I think so. Yeah, maybe for the like uh, shorter distances and stuff yeah. like that, the M10 is better. Yeah. But after you ride like uh, bigger wheels, yeah, like 16 plus, yeah, the M10 is just too nimble. I would say to like, it's too fast. Yeah. You just like want to run. Like away from your feet. Yeah. What about the V11? And the V11, I mean, it's. It's like a commuter. Yeah. I mean, my friend said, like Taju said, yeah. that it's a wheel for older people. And I agree. It's possible. Uh, it's like, it's really so simple to ride. Yeah. You don't really need to think about anything. Yeah. You just ride it. But. That's a good part about suspension. The worst part is that when you ride something faster, yeah. Like, even Tesla is faster than V11. Yeah, we were comparing that. I mean, yeah, in a Tesla you can't be faster than on a V11. Yeah. Like, maybe... I mean, it limits you also a lot when you get wear, uh, less battery. You cannot compare it, I mean, for, with Nikola, with Veteran, with MSP. Yeah. Because you just can push the wheel so hard and it won't do, like, it won't budge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with in motion, I actually had almost a cutoff because yes. I pushed it too hard and it just bent yeah. in these terms. If you like riding, commuting, yeah, it's okay. But to have fun, maybe when you're going like downstairs. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good thing. It's good. Like uh, you did once on the fourth like, floor from fifth the floor. fifth floor. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but other than that, nah, it's boring. I mean, I like taking like. Um, turns like a bit more sharply because it has very high clearance. I mean, I love the light. I really like the suspension as well. I mean, now I, I was I'm riding the veteran a lot, and I do feel that sometimes I wish I had suspension. But on the other hand, I mean, it's 
it works well with Veteran already. Now I definitely wouldn't get this over a MSP or a Nikola. Like, no, it's not not even worth it. No. I mean, it's cool and stuff, but no, not worth. it. I mean, especially that this wheel. You think these two? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. So we flip it over, or these are weird screws, by the way. I think these are like American size screws, because one's one is too big and the other one is too small. I think only the one included in the in-motion package, these, these ones, fits. It's too big. No, it's even not this, this one. Mm. See, this one works. It's like okay. a different size. Or does it? No, it doesn't work actually. It's a, it's a weird size. Oh, see? Yeah. Yeah. It's just here that you have a different screw head. You have to get an American key for it, like imperial size, I think. Lucky for us, Bogdan had a fall on his wheel, we don't have to do this one. <laughs> We're sorry for you, Bogdan. You're doing a good job. I know, I know. I'm so professional at it. By the way, this is like a long board key. Now we have finally access to the pump. <laughs> I actually never removed this before, but let me show you guys. Inside the pedal hangers... Let me get some brightness here. Pedal hangers look pretty nicely. I mean, there's a bit of dust, but not too much. Now well, let's let's get on with it. So a bit into the process, you can see that here, actually the pedals are on a small hanger. It is a metal, and there's actually a rubber on the inside of here, which does something. And there's what is this? Looks like wood, but it's not wood, probably. Think about, you know what it is? Plastic. It's plastic. All in all, looks pretty clean. Okay, so we just removed the pedal hangers. Pretty lightweight. Now we can see like the suspension here on the side. The actual suspension. And, you know, the suspension is a great part of the V11. That's definitely for sure the case. Here's like the long rod. And here's the long rod, and here's the suspension. And this is what is probably causing the small movement in my wheel. So yeah, let's let's crack on with it. Okay, so we actually already disassembled the covers here and um there is a small bit of dust here on the inside as well on the other part nothing major really it's a lot of screws to take apart but all in all i think it looks pretty rather good like the batteries are also in a plastic casing so that's pretty nice and you can also see on the cover there is some some dust building up from the inside so not really terrible, but also not perfect. I, I didn't see something like that on my Nikola when I was disassembling it. Did you see, Miechu, something like this on your MSP on the inside? No, not really. Nothing, right? No. I actually need to also get this out. I'm not sure we, if we can do it with our set of tools. We'll also take a look at the motherboard soon and the lights. Look at the amount of screws here. Everywhere is screws. It's so difficult to take apart compared to a copper wheel. Okay, so we have all So the next two covers are off and actually you can see there's a lot of sand here on this side. Um, yeah, just got in a bit of dirt and dust as well, nothing too major, but it's still here. So yeah, I think the rest of the casing is pretty well protected, but yeah, a lot of dust and probably I, I need to get, take a vacuum cleaner to get <laughs> take this out and out. The brain reveal. <laughs> So it's a stacked motherboard. Yes. And do not touch. Yeah, yeah, I know. We need to turn off the power first. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, touch. Yeah. 
It looks pretty clean. I mean, on the sides there's something, but that's I think normal. No, it's nothing. I think there's also nothing coming through here. It has a big heat sink. These are, by the way, XT90 plugs, so they're pretty big and beefy, as you can see. But not as beefy as Mieczu. Beef cake. These ones are actually a bit stronger connectors than what we find usually on uh, Godways. I think they have XT30s. Yeah. Or it's something correct. else. XT60, maybe. I, I forgot. So now we turn on it for, for a while to have the capacitors discharge. Okay. Okay, it's already that. Nothing is in the capacitors. It wasn't written for so long, there was nothing coming. <laughs> We removed the front part, and as you can see on the inside here, there's nothing major really. There's a big heat sink for the light. It rattles a bit, maybe I'll just screw it in a bit more tightly. Screw that. And <laughs> all in all, looks really good here on, on the inside. So here on uh, on this side, there's also a bit of dust building up from the inside. Um, I think yeah, it's a bit more here. I don't know if if anyone should be too concerned about it. A level of concern looks not too shabby to me. You, you think we can somehow like open this up? I don't think so, right? Yes. This? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look how small the V11 would be without lighting and without the like upper part of the. Uh, that would be like the smallest suspension wheel. <laughs> we just found out that there is duct tape <laughs> in the middle of the V11. And there's actually quite a noticeable bit of dust here. So yeah, this is the place for duct tape. <laughs> yeah, here is duct tape as well. Yes, <laughs> both sides. Yeah. Well, here, the smart guard is like... Yeah. Ooh, there's mud underneath the butt mud guard. Hmm. Okay, so Miechu successfully removed the rear headlight housing. Here it looks good as well. So actually you can see that this is just plastic and there are like plastic pipes inside and the diodes are actually on this plate here. And here are the di diodes. Yeah, those six ones. And the light goes through here. You can see that this is like, like the clear pipe. And this is like why it looks so nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's no it's strange that it's only a PCB. Yeah, that's a PCB. Like what why should there be a PCB, right? Like, that's why. Almost clear one. Like no, it's clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so speaker is just a bit dirty from the outside. There should be like a lot more protective mesh. There is none. But yeah, there should be protective so, mesh. Yeah, yeah there should be there is none. There should be protective mesh to cover the speaker. I think that's why it sounds a bit more crap now. I I can see like a big problem here. Yeah. Show me. Like if you have the speaker here. Yeah. You have like clear space for yeah, dust yeah. and for water to go to the charging ports. Oh yeah, right. You have charging ports here. Yeah, so the charging ports are behind yeah. the speaker. Yeah. And if you take the speaker out. Oh yeah, you don't want to do that. No, there's like in here. Yeah. It's see through. Like this part. Yeah, yeah. Like this part is see through and there's like water can come in. To the dust. charge ports. Yes. And it's not not, not I isolated. Yeah, it's no silicon, no nothing. I don't know if So if it so would so. just jump into water, it's an immediate shortage. And yeah, it's possible that it will. Yeah, like it would if it would fall into water. So basically, if the f the front would the rear. submerge, the rear that's the rear. Oh, that's the rear. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So it's, if the rear would submerge in water, it's then off. It the wheel is dead, pretty much. I'm, I don't know if dead. You could blow the blow the motherboard probably. Or cut off. Yeah. Just cut off. I mean, cut off for sure. <laughs> I mean, if you're underwater, you are trying to touch it down either way. Yeah. But yeah, this thing should be isolated, man. 
Good catch, good catch. No isolation on the ports. It's not really good. Okay, boys and girls, it's already the next day. Yay! And now we're gonna take it apart even further. Further. We bought some pro tools. Thingy that has a light. And we have a key. Oh, le franche. Ah. A franche key. Sponsored by Heinz Tomato Ketchup. <laughs> not. Not. <laughs> So it looks like with this key we can't really do it because the metal is giving in. It's too soft metal. Or just we need a different sort of tool. No, they did the same thing. Yeah. They, they use this tool. I think this this thing is just too like small. Should be a bigger nut. In motion V eleven needs no. bigger nuts. Yeah, I think we actually like destroy the screw. Yeah. Maybe it was already destroyed from my riding before. That's really, really probable because I hit it a couple of times. But yeah, that's really sad times. We can't really open up the V11. I need my face. Yes. That looks destroyed, man. So yeah, in the movie they show the same thing. It's the same sort of tool. So yeah, you can like unscrew it with the same wrench, but it didn't. Yeah, we can't unscrew it. Yeah, the metal is too soft. Yeah. And the, the nut is too small. Like if it was bigger yeah. nut, then we could have get more leverage on it, but it's just giving in. We can we can show you like from a closer of view. So I, I guess this is actually like a flaw of the V11, right? Because this piece gets damaged. Like if you fall or if you just get a curve that is too high, and this is the thing that gets it and yeah. can't open it anymore. In addition, you have the problem that it can be like, uh, yeah, it can rust. And I think we could use the WD-40 yeah. <laughs> to like make it softer, so like unrust it. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I mean, you, you wouldn't do anything with that yeah. right now. And the problem is that... On both sides, actually. You won't open this part as well. I actually, actually, I think kind of damaged it a bit. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, you can open it. But yeah, there was a oh yeah, there's a spider. I think you that means I can sell it. it. You know, where's, when there's a spider on some sort of device, then this means I will sell it for a good price. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, that's 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 yeah, how it is. Still, like the piston. Wait, wait, let, let me let, get a close up on the spider. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here it is. Hello, Spidey. Thank you. Thank you for giving me money in the future. But the problem is right now that you cannot take the piston out. Can't we? I mean, can't. No, it's not possible. You need to unscrew this part mm -hmm. to take the piston out. Oh, got you. And without it, if the uh, suspension will get damaged, I mean, the piston will get yeah. damaged, it's broken. Damn. And I mean, you will need to take the whole part out. Yeah, I got you. Not only the piston. Can we try taking out the whole part? Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Uh, we we tried to unscrew all of like all of the screws here to take this part out, but turns out. These screws are not really tough and we could unscrew all the three here but the last one, the, I don't know, the thread, I don't know what, what it's called, the, the screw is just gone, you can't really, you can't really do anything with it right now. So we have this one broken and this one broken. So in terms of repairability, yeah, you cannot take out the battery. Yeah. Because the piston is like in a way in a way of the battery. So it's definitely not a there is too much not screws. a wheel to repair at home. You better get it with yeah. warranty. Yeah. There is too much screws. Yeah. Too many and, screws. And sorry. too many shitty screws. Yeah. 
Let, let, let's flip it over and we'll see. Screw it. Screw it, yeah. But we can also flip it over, try let's and try see. The other way around. Yeah, what, what's on the other side? I mean, probably in a box anyway for, for a while. Okay, so listen guys, um, we tried a bit more on the other side, but actually like the screw like on the same side as on the other side, well, <laughs> well that sounded weird. Anyhow, it's basically in the same, in the same place, place. Yeah, in the same place. Uh, also uh, is, is now broken. Like the I mean, the problem can be that you damaged it somehow yep. by your riding style. Absolutely. It's possible. It's possible. But yeah, basically, uh, if you want now, it, the wheel is now in a state that I I couldn't even physically just at home change out the motor to to have my bearings fixed to have the sound gone. So basically, um, to remove this whole upper cover here, me to explain explain to me. I can. Yeah. Basically, yeah. we unscrewed it and to change the package. Like the battery ones. The whole, yeah. You need to take out the piston. Yeah, and because this plastic is in the way. This yeah. plastic. Yeah, so basically the whole thing can go out, but here it's connected. Yeah. To take out the piston, you need to unscrew this and it's broken. Yeah. So this way is finito. And to take out the whole part, like this, this half of the shell, yeah. you need to unscrew those screws and they are one of them are broke, uh, broken on each side it's like yeah yeah so, so you're f yeah <laughs> that so yeah, you're bipped <laughs> yeah you're beep um, so anyhow like, like if you bought it in motion on aliexpress and you have like no service like be careful with it like it's there are some places that you know are, are, are really he heavy i mean difficult to maintain so to take out like the upper part of the just the of the batteries like you have these triangular screws here but this doesn't help us at all in the whole process so um, yeah basically this wheel was provided to me by InMotion but like if you get a InMotion from a dealer distribu distributor like my e-wheel like don't even try working at it because it's, I mean it's really neat it has a lot of screws it's pretty well organized but you know this 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 is really like an area that you wouldn't yeah. want to work on like that's true like gotways and and probably the veteran as well these are wheels like you can easily really easily yeah, assemble I, them I mean, at home i disassembled like m103 and uh, msp and it had like one tenth of the amount of screws yeah it like the screws like nothing this is this is the amount of screws that's not even all of them, like there's a lot of them on the, on the floor. <laughs> for me, yeah, on MSP, like two of them broke and it's not a problem because you could assemble it anyway. Yeah. And with this one, it's like, yeah, there's too many screws that can just go bad. Definitely buy this wheel with warranty, I wouldn't advise. Yeah. Or, or just get it to like a really good repair shop because, yeah, it's really easy to just damage all these parts. Like now I'm left with probably either um, welding, yeah. welding like a part of metal to this screw and then trying to get it out or to this screw uh, or I will tell you one thing, like yeah. welding next to a battery yeah, welding next <laughs> to a battery, that's, like, that, that's the problem, right? so basically now I'm left with, with a wheel that is pretty much unserviceable, like just at home so yeah, it, it will stay disassembled for a while because I don't want to ride with with these bearings, so that's a that's a pretty sad 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 ending to the my my passion to the V11. <laughs> like it started out really nicely, high pedals, awesome suspension, pretty okay. This is the acceleration, but yeah, it turns out it's not really that fast after all. Uh, the ride is nice with the suspension, but yeah, and the service thing that's that's pretty that's pretty hard. But in motion changed out the bearings in the newest batch, so hopefully you won't have to do that. I wouldn't. I am only curious if in motion changed anything about the assembling yeah. thing, because maybe it changed, uh, maybe like the quality of screws or something. But as I can see right now, it's like when you look at it, it's like symmetrical. 
Yeah, yeah. Because even like the stand here, we yeah. can see that they use the same approach. Like oh, true. Yeah. Everything is symmetrical here. Yeah. I mean, look, the, the cables are nicely wired. Like yeah. there was. I mean, everything yeah. is tidy. And the, the you know the the goo was on 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 all the parts here. The the, the only part was the mm, charge port. This wasn't sealed. Like yeah. that that's a bad thing. But other than that, like it's really tidy and neat. But I'd rather a Gotway or or a veteran. Yeah. For me. Yeah. When I'm uh, I'm looking at it, it's like. I'm buying a Mercedes. Yeah. Like right this one. That yeah, you, you don't want, work on it. Yeah, I don't want to take apart. Yeah. Like I don't want to work uh, on it. I will just send it to the service and that's all. But on Gotway Wheels, it's like a I don't want to say a shitty car. It's like a car that I can just take apart and assemble it's by simple. itself. Yeah. It's yeah. simpler. It's simpler. And with this one I would be scared to like disassemble it by myself. After what I'm seeing right now, but afterwards, like for Gotway wheels, it's like you can do whatever, and they just assemble yeah. itself by like. Yeah. On on my Nikola, I disassembled it I think two or three times, yeah. and like I didn't get I think a single screw like damaged in the process. Plus, it's easier here. We had problems to actually understand which part to disassemble first. Yeah, it's like origami. Yeah. So yeah, I think that concludes my 2,200 kilometer review <laughs> of so the Emotion 11. So it will stay like this. There is there is its box. <laughs> so if you're still here, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sh show the man. Show the man. <laughs> uh, I'll add googly eyes in the post processing. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See us.